Hi, Simon here. I just want to jump onto this video real quick. I'll be installing a secondary M.2 SSD drive on this Lenovo laptop. Let's take a look at the model. Turn, take a look at the back of the computer. You should be able to identify it says model L0Q15ARP9. That is the model for the laptop. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. We need to remove some of the screws here in order to get the back cover off of the laptop and look for the secondary slot M.2 to install the hard drive. So there are four screws on the top, kind of two screws at the middle. and four other screws at the bottom. So you wanna keep in mind the screws at the bottom is a lot shorter compared to the screws on the top and the middle. So do not mix match those screws. Once I've removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and pry open the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool here. What I like to do is to find the corner Give it a little bit of a gap so that I can use a plastic prying tool to stick it in and pry it open. Okay, once the back cover is removed, the next step is to go ahead and install the M.2 on the secondary slot. So they do come with a secondary slot here on the left side of it. I'll be installing that here. And this is a one terabyte Samsung M.2 SSD. We need a smaller Phillips. Well, that seems not to work. Let's try a different. Let's see. It is still a Phillips screw, um, but you might want to find the right Phillips for this. It's kind of a bit strange of a Phillips angle. Anyway, um, this is the M.2 SSD drive, one terabyte Samsung. Slide it in at 45 degree angle. Push it down and have the screw back on. Once it's installed, it is not ready to use yet because you still need to initialize the disk and format the disk and name it as a data drive so that the computer can see it. And this is your C drive, meaning that your Windows, your data are still installed in this M.2 drive. Next step is to just close it up. Now I'm gonna put the screws in later on, but I just wanna jump right into the disk management to initialize the disk and show you the process on how to do that. So let me turn on the computer and I'll come back to finish up the screws, but um, you get the idea. You should put the screws in, um, get everything installed correctly before you turn on the computer. Uh, there is a password to get in, just a second. Let me try to figure out the password here. So the password is... All right, I don't think there's any um, 
personal stuff here that I can't show. Uh, let me see just a second. I'm going to make sure that it doesn't show any other thing else here. All right. So what I need to do is to go to disk management. Okay, so here at the Windows bottom right corner. So for the Windows, you want to right click at the Windows and this thing would pop up. So the next step is to go to Disk Management. Click on that and that Disk Management screen would come on. Now if you notice that Disk Management has this one and this two, uh, sorry, this zero and this one. This zero, they always start with zero in computer language, um, is the C drive, okay? And then this one, again, if you notice that the box was not brand new, meaning that it was already open, may have been used in the past, and this is what it shows. All right, so what I like to do is, um, we can use the CMD. I, I think this is a bit off a topic. Uh, the customer who dropped this M.2 drive, um, he did not mention that it was brand new. And when I plug it in, it seems like it already has the BitLocker encryption encrypted to the disk, the one terabyte. So what I need to do is use a command prompt and format it. So let me, let me try uh, CMD. So what I do is I click on this start and I type CMD and that is the one that prompt up. Right click that CMD, run as administrator. Click yes. So that is the CMD. The first thing I do is to type this part. So here will be this part enter list space this hit enter and select this one make sure you select the right one so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the first thing I did was this part enter list this enter it lists two disks, zero and one. So this is the one that we need to select. So select this one, enter, and type clean, C-L-E-A-N, and enter. So it says this part succeeded in cleaning the disk. So it's done. What I can do is exit, hit enter, exit from the command prompt, enter. So here I'll be exceeding everything and it backs to this disk. So if you have a brand new M.2 drive, this is what you should be seeing. So ignore that few minutes recording time uh, because this was used M.2 drive. So anyway, when you get to this page, this is where you need to right click, initialize the disk, and click OK. Once it shows online, you want to right click anywhere in the disk area, just right click and new simple volume. Click next, click next. So it would give a letter drive D, which is fine, click next. And here, instead of new volume, I would just say data drive or secondary drive or one terabyte, whichever you want to name it. Uh, I just name it one TB. So I name it one terabyte drive. So which I know this is the uh, one terabyte drive here. Click next and finish. All right, so the one terabyte is done and you can see that the bottom right corner, you'll pop up that little screen uh, that indicates that it is ready to use. Let me just make sure that nothing is shown here. 
um, I wanted to all right so if I go to um, this PC and you can see that the C drive is here and the D drive is there the one that we just installed all right hopefully this is helpful for you um, if you do find this video is helpful please go ahead and um, smash the like button for me I really appreciate you for liking the video and of course if you have any question please comment down below I will read your comments and answer any of the questions thanks for watching hey please do not forget to check out the website uh, please go to ubergeeks.biz uh, this is our website we have a lot more stuff in there so check it out and um, thanks for watching good luck bye now